So today sees the start of a bit of a marathon dig. Um, I need to relay the mains pipe from this wall here, which is the current garage and will be the utility room where the boiler is going, uh, all the way out to the main road. And there's quite a few obstacles to deal with. We've got a tarmac drive, a solid path here with kind of a 10 inch stone slab in places. So a bit of a challenge. We'll try and hand dig it. And if worst comes to worst, we'll go and hire a digger. So down here, you can see we had a leak before Christmas uh, down here in this old iron pipe and the iron pipe comes in from the road and tees around here and you can see a little bit going up here that goes into the house this goes into the garage we're going to replace it and rather than have any tees hidden underground we're just going to go straight into the wall uh, and tee off when we're in the in the garage itself uh, but some of the obstacles we've got to deal with we've got big solid stones and bricks down here and we've got this massive uh, sort of old doorstep plinth um, I'm hoping that doesn't extend too far along and we'll be able to kind of tunnel it under there but it could be a little bit more work than expected so first job is to take up all these slabs to that gate beyond the gate will be the driveway which is all solid tarmac as well so we'll have to use an angle grinder for that but uh, it's pretty early on a Sunday morning so we'll wait for the people neighbors to wake up before we get any tools out so we'll lift all these up and see what we've got underneath so I'm hoping that we can just take up this one row and leave the nearest row to the house there so we've left these stack them against the wall and uh, and then we can excavate up here so we need to clear all this here because by the time this uh, soil all comes out it's going to double in size basically So first thing I'm going to do is lift up this row here and that's when I use this tool here, lifting bar and it's probably the best thing for the job. So lift all these up, stack them against that wall and we'll go from there. So I just started digging here, I get the feeling I'm gonna wish we uh, hired a digger now, but never mind. So we're just gonna do a straight dig now, all the way to the road, and should be a bit quicker. And as you might have guessed by this backfill, we live in a coal mining area. The whole place is just full of coal. About half of this is just old slag, I guess, and coal that's been chucked in here back in the day. Right, so this is where we are now, down to about 700 mil, so almost there, along the first section. And then I probably left it too wide up there. And then down here, I've actually gone too narrow. <laughs> it's even harder to dig, you know, I'm only digging one spade's width down here. So now we're at the tarmac, I'll run two slots, a uh, similar sort of width to this, uh, through the tarmac using the angle grinder and then we'll have to start digging again.
So we're the other side of the wall and this is where the new pipe supply pipe will come through the wall. We're about a metre lower here, the ground level is about here. And right down at the bottom here you can see there's a small bit of 15mm which is just a temporary fix because of the leak. So uh, our new pipe work will come through here and there will be a stopcock and then it will go off into the house and across to the new boiler. Alright so after that horrible day yesterday of digging, luckily it wasn't raining like it is now but I uh, managed to get most of that digging done. The trench is almost all the way to the road now and I need to take probably another few inches off the bottom of it to get down to the the depth that's required by the um, water company. When we had a, a leak before Christmas, I had to cut out a section of pipe and do a repair. And just to give you an idea of what we're taking out, that's the, uh, you can't really see right down it, but it's uh, probably only about 10 mil of it clearance because uh, there's so much rust and flakes of metal in there. Um, so that's what we're replacing and actually the new pipe work will have a diameter of probably the outside of this so hopefully the flow rate is going to be much better and the pressure um, shouldn't be as low as it is now. So we also have the guys from Futurum who are going to be doing our biomass install. Uh, they came out today and gave us some really good advice, finalised some like access issues, where the flue is going to go and what pipes we can reuse, what we need to run through. Uh, but it's all looking good, so we've got two weeks to get the preparation done. The current oil boiler will obviously be gone, and I need to build a larger half for the new one to sit on. And as I said in the last video, the whole of this end of the garage will become a utility, and we'll need to raise the floor up. I've put this in here to give me a bit of a guide, but that's about where we're going to bring it up to. So that will give us a bit of a void underneath to run pipes. We're also going to bring out some stud work, probably some metal stud work along this wall. All the pipes and the flue will all be nice and tidy hidden behind there. We're going to knock through a door here into a porch which we'll build in the future. Another stud wall across this way and the thermal store, the accumulator tank which is 500 litres will be on the solid floor just the other side of that wall and we'll box that in as some stud work as well. So obviously there's quite a bit of work for us to do this end before the install, getting the room ready, clearing it out, getting some access in and relaying that supply pipe. Um, but all being well, things will be all in by the end of this month and we're gonna really kind of go all out on some nice videos uh, featuring the installation and a few other bits about biomass. So we'll probably do like a two or three part video on the installation with some time-lapse videos and then kind of a bit of a walkthrough uh, afterwards once it's all up and running because I've decided to do a few things in the house as well things like zoning the two levels of the house um, so the bedrooms are on a completely different zone from the downstairs using valves and also uh, we're going to fit a new sealed hot water system as well, a bigger tank and that will give us the opportunity to use solar thermal in the future if we want to up there so it's pretty exciting times uh, Going to be some long, long nights, I think, getting this ready and uh, up and running, ready for the install. So I'll do another video once that pipe work is ready to, to lay and we can get it signed off. I had the water company guy come out today and he just let me know what we needed to have ready for him to see. And then they'll do the connection on the road. And then, uh, so we'll do that in the next video, have a look at that and hopefully get the stopcock and the new supply fitted this side and we'll be up and running. So thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe for more videos on the restoration and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.